Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases where we are going to chat about the new makeup that's been released, announced and sneak peeked. I'm going to let you know what I think about it, I'm going to let you know if I want to pick up any of these things and then you let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you haven't been here before, do consider subscribing because I do upload quite a lot of videos. This is actually the seventh day in a row that I am uploading videos, so you might have missed some. I had some really fun videos live this week and we're gonna talk actually about a couple of them in this video. But first of all, I did film this look. I actually used the Citrus Punch Palette by um, Simply Posh Cosmetics. This palette right here for this look, I will leave in a pinned comment what I have on my face, what I have on my eyes, in case you are curious. This look is coming next week. I'm doing another one of those videos where I'm doing four different looks with four different new indie palettes, so swatches and just talking a bit about all of them because there's been a lot of things going on lately. And all of the things that I'm gonna be talking about in today's episode is gonna be in the description box. I will put as much info as possible down there, including if I have any discount codes, if they haven't been released, if I know what they're gonna be costing, if I know where you'll be able to find them, release dates, all of that down in the description box. And also if I have any dedicated videos, because a couple of things that we're gonna be talking about today, I actually have videos on and those will be down below as well. I also wanna quickly mention that I will have a after work little cocktail with friends with my members of tier two and tier three tomorrow. And I will put the exact time and the Zoom call, like the link and everything in the community tab. And if you are a member, just know that that is happening well today. I'm filming this on a Thursday, but it's happening on Friday the 19th, okay? I will put all the info in the community tab and in the tab for members in case you want to join in on the Zoom and just have, you know, a little after work and just chatting about life and all of that. And if you aren't a member yet, feel free to join if you want to join in on the fun. When you're a member of my channel, you do get member exclusive tutorials that you will be able to see where I do in-depth tutorials using things that you've been asking me to use. You also get member exclusive emojis that you can use down in the comments. I try to add new emojis emojis every now and then and when you are tier 2 and tier 3 you get to join in on the Zoom calls that we have every month where we just chat about life and honestly I love our Zoom calls and I'm so excited that we're having another one. Of course this is optional, it's just an extra way to support the channel and if you're not part of my membership nothing changes on this channel. I still do four to five sometimes six videos a week so there's still a lot of things to watch. Okay let me scoochy scoochy so we can talk. Okay, so I do feel like, first of all, we need to talk about the collab between, who, here we go, here we go, here we go, Unearthly Cosmetics and Heather Austin. Heather Austin is one of my absolute closest friends, and they are coming up with a collection together. There is a gloss as well. It's here. Oh, here it is. There is a gloss and I do have a video on this and I will put a link to that video down below in case you are interested. But there is a collection with a gloss and then there is a highlighter duo. It looks like this. One for more tan deep skin tones and one for more fair light medium skin tones. I actually am wearing this duo today. I'm wearing sun of uh, the apples on my cheek and I'm wearing sun on uh, my cheekbone. Again, you can see swatches and all of that in the video. And then of course the palette right here. This is a palette inspired by Beatles and on Honestly, I can see all of these colors in like bugs and beetles in nature. And I just really like that you have so many different combos that you can do in this palette. Of course, I am a little bit biased because Heather Austin is one of my absolute closest friends, but I love Unearthly Cosmetics and I was not worried at all that they were not gonna ex execute like a really good collection with like really good quality. So I will leave the video to this one down below in case you wanna get some more info. But I really wanted to start with this one because of course I am super, super excited. The second collection that I talked about this week that I also have a video on is actually the new collection from Odazai. Odazai is launching two new palettes and I also have a video up on these um, palettes. They're also launching some jewelry with this. I still don't have 100% the details about that. I would check out their Instagram if you want to get more details about like the jewelry and stuff. But here is the first palette. This is the Jewels and Gem palette, which is more of a cool tone palette. They come with a matching sleeve. I always really like the packaging of Odin's Eye, and this one almost feels like expensive paper. You know when you're in a store and you wanna buy paper and you touch paper and you're like, oh, that's really nice paper, and then you realize the paper is out of your tax bracket? 
This is Fancy People paper. It feels really, really nice. And then it is the Stone and Rock palette, which is the slightly more um, warm tone uh, neutral palette. I really like that they were able to do like a more toned down, slightly less bright palette. It's like neutrals with a twist. There's a couple of brights in here. I've had a really fun time with these palettes. And like I said, the video will be down below. My code with Una's Eye is in Jessica, and it will save you 10% off this collection when it goes live the 20th, which is on Saturday. I will put the exact uh, time that it's launching down below. I don't know if these will sell out directly or not, but the brand has said that these are not limited edition. So if they do sell out, they will restock them. But sometimes with indie brands, it does take a little time to restock. So keep that in mind as well. But if you were worried that these were going to be disappearing, the brand did say that these are not limited edition. And I will say, usually with Uden's Eye, when they do things that are not uh, influencer collabs, they're usually not limited edition and they keep restocking them, even though sometimes they're out of stock for a longer period of time. The jewelry, I did show some of it in the video. It's not exactly my style of jewelry, but I will also say I'm not, I'm not even wearing jewelry today, just my wedding ring. I'm not really a jewelry kind of a connoisseur. I don't know much about jewelry. I have very few pieces that I wear on a regular. Um, I have a couple of studs, some things that I've gotten from my husband. I do love uh, a lot of the things that I have gotten from Ana Luisa, also some things that I bought myself from Ana Luisa, because they make very minimalistic things that I have really been enjoying. And most of the time I'm not a person that shops for jewelry most of the time. So I've seen some people saying that it's not their style. And I've seen some people saying that they absolutely love the jewelry. So I would say take a, a peek at it and see how you feel. Not everything is for everybody, which really applies to everything. Fashion, makeup, beauty, skincare, jewelry, partners. <laughs> we all have a different tastes. Okay, let me go into my little folder on Instagram and see what else we have to talk about. Because I feel like, okay, let's quickly talk about this one. Because this one just got announced and I actually went to the website. And I was like, wait, this is going to be me trying Kimchi Cheek Beauty. And this is the Cherry Cherry Cheek. I swear some of the sounds in English is really, really hard. And this is the Cherry Cheek and it is a palette and it is a light almost like a, a cherry colored lip gloss. It's like a see-through lip gloss. I was very intrigued by this and I was like, oh, this is a color story that I really like. Um, and then I went to the website and I zoomed in and it's two press glitters. And that actually was everything. I, Cause here's the thing, I'm trying to buy less. Had this not had two press glitters, I would have purchased this. I would have purchased this because it's a color story that I really like with the green and the red and the yellow. I thought it looked so cute. Um, I don't want the press glitters. And if, if I can find even the smallest thing to deter me from trying a new brand or deter me from buying something that I don't know if I'm going to love or not, I will grab onto that. I will grab onto that, like a toddler grabs onto things that they are not supposed to be touching and I will just not purchase. So that's actually what I did. I decided to not purchase. The palette is $30, the lip gloss is 12 and then you can buy it as a bundle for 38 and then you will save $4. But I was like, you know what? I'm opting out. I, I'm going to opt out. Something I did actually purchase, and this is from Gerard Cosmetics. They have not been releasing anything for quite some time. And this is the Allegations and Shades set. And this is the lip gloss collection that they have done in collaboration with Emily D. Baker. Is it Emily D. Baker? It's Emily D. Baker. And I don't watch her channel a lot, but I also will say, I think that LawTube has been getting some kind of a upswing because there's been so many really public and kind of messy things that have been going on um within the court system as of late and people are nosy for good reason and since emily d baker is an attorney if i'm not mistaken i think that people are naturally drawn to someone giving commentary about things that they actually have knowledge within which is the same as with like most beauty youtubers we give comments about stuff that we more or less have some insights about. And this is a lip gloss set that has a clear one, a purple one, and a pink one. This isn't my favorite type of shades, but I did actually have a Gerard Cosmetics gift card, so I was able to use that one, and I did buy the set. And I'm gonna be swatching it and letting you know, because I think a lot of people are wanting to support Emily D. Baker, and maybe you just wanted to see if this is like the shades for you or not. So I will be um, putting something up on Instagram, just lip swatching these so you can see what they look like. I'm excited to be trying them out. I actually do like the Gerard 
Cosmetics lip gloss formula. I think it's a nice formula, so it's gonna be nice to see how this one looks. Oh, and this one is available now. And I do have a code with Gerard. I think it is on Jessica, if I'm not totally mistaken. I will put that down below as well. Oh, and let's get into the weekly Colourpop segment, which is actually, again, a restock. And I am excited to see that Colourpop are, instead of just launching new things again and again and again they're taking a couple of weeks to just restock stuff that people are super excited about so they did restock the star wars they restocked the mega palettes and now they are restocking parts of the winnie the pooh collection namely they are restocking the eyeshadow palette and the lip scrub and lip like balm mask duo i actually do have these they are really really nice quality and if you were interested in these and if you were thinking about what kind of quality they are they are really nice quality and the lip set actually comes in these beautiful little honey jars and they do smell like honey so i actually think that these are really nice and i'm happy that they re did restock them my cover colourpop is and jessica as well it tends to work on everything on colourpop site except some things are in bundles because you're like you're already getting a discount with the bundle so you cannot apply an additional discount on it. I know some people ask me sometimes and that's why the code doesn't work but I think it's cute that they're restocking things. What would you like to see restocked from Colourpop? I would like to see them restock the palette in the limelight. It's such a beautiful lime green palette. I really like that palette. I even used it the other day and I would also love them to restock the Flirty Talk palette which I ranked really high in Monday's video where I was ranking the makeup that I've been trying out as of late. It's a really nice palette and it's been out of stock for a bit so I'm kind of hoping like those will be the th two things where I'm like oh I would like to see that come back let me know what you would like to see being restocked or to come back to Colourpop I know people are gonna say oh they want to see the Lush Life or the Good Sport but I think that those are probably a little bit too old to be able to be restocked at this point because probably sometimes pigments just disappear and you're not able to create the, the actual thing again but I feel like in the limelight was like a fairly reason I think it's one year old can we have that back, please? We've also seen a sneak peek from Pat McGrath. It says the countdown begins, and they say that they are gonna be revealing this within 48 hours, which was yesterday, so this is definitely being revealed fairly soon. I also saw another sneak peek of this, which was like flowers and, surprise, surprise, roses, and I'm wondering if this is gonna be new blushes for the summer. I would love to see some glowy blushes from Pat McGrath and some like bright colors for summer. I would love that. I'm not 100% sure what this is, but we'll talk more about it next week. You can give me some guesses down below and it's going to be revealed, well, either today or tomorrow. Uh, so you can probably already go to Pat McGrath or Trend Mood or any of these sites and see what it is. But as I'm filming this, I don't really know. Viseart has released some new palettes and this is a new for Viseart. Well, something that I haven't seen before from Viseart. And this is them releasing the, um, it's like the mini palettes that usually are eight pans, but instead it's like a four pan, like a quad, and then two blushes. What do you think about this? I feel like this is the kind of color stories that Viseart has come out with five years in a row oh it's like a cool tone lavender and then it's like the coral with the gold and then it's a super super pale beige it is pretty much what Viseart always does but I'm guessing that it sells otherwise they wouldn't keep coming out with it but I don't hate the idea of making like two blushes and four eyeshadows but also two of these lean very very pale I also will say keep this in mind Viseart's product pictures for one reason or another usually looks lighter than what they are when you get them. That is just my experience from the brand. I do own quite a lot of things from Viseart and I always feel like they are deeper and more saturated when I get them versus what I see on the website. This just might be me. Maybe they've changed. I haven't tried Viseart. I haven't bought anything from Viseart in over, I would say a year and a half. Is that true? Yeah, January 2020 two was the last thing I bought something from them uh, because they've just been releasing well, these color stories honestly for a year and a half so I don't hate this idea they're $40 each I just I've seen this from Viseart I mean not this kind of concept but there has got to be some other color combos that you can do 
right? Oh, there's a sneak peek from Nomad Cosmetics as well. Indie brands are going crazy in May. Oh, I love indie brands and I love indie palettes and I love every, I just love playing with like a little bit more quirky and fun stuff. And that's usually what indie brands do. And this is coming May 30th and it is a new palette. And when you look at the, the sneak peek that they gave, it's an elephant. So where are they going? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Nomad uh, Cosmetics is a destination-based uh, brand. I mean, 30th is like next week. Not even like, it is next week. So I'm, I'm excited. Is next week the Memorial Weekend? Because I am actually having a little bit of a like a romantic getaway with my husband that weekend. So I'm hoping I'll be able to have something up with this palette before it launches. Nomad Cosmetics does send me PR and my code and Jessica does work at Nomad as well. I'm excited to see what this one looks like. Like what we're seeing here is white, gold, dark blue, and a taupe. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this is. Of course, we will talk about this next Friday as well. There will be a new makeup releases next Friday. We're leaving after work on Friday. Don't worry. I'll be here. EXO Beauty has released something new. I haven't seen anything from EXO Beauty in quite some time. This is Shan XO's beauty brand. It is based out of New Zealand, if I'm not totally mistaken. And they are coming out with a matte liquid lipstick formula that is a new formula. And then they're coming out with matte uh, bullet lipsticks and... Uh, wait. Matte bullet lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks, and lip pencils. I think this looks really cute. I haven't tried EXO Beauty yet. And right now I've bought so many lip products. Like I'm judging myself for the amount of lip products that I bought. And I need to cool it on the lip products for like a little bit. But I do think it looks really cute. And I love the cream colored component. And I love there's so many neutrals in here. I think this looks really cute. Have you tried EXO Beauty? I think I've heard that her quality and eyeshadows are really nice. Is, is really nice. I would love to hear more about that. Oh, Dose of Colors is coming out with their 10, 10 year birthday collection. 10 years. Crazy bananas. Crazy bananas because I remember their first products. I remember those like baked highlighters that they had. Oh my God. This is coming, well, the day that you're watching this, it is a bigger eyeshadow palette for being Dose of Colors. Dose of Colors has a really nice eyeshadow uh, formula, according to me. There are some matte liquid lipsticks. There are sponges in this like really nice burgundy color. Are those lip liners to go with the liquid lipsticks? They look beautiful. They look beautiful. This is a very smoky and sultry neutral palette. It's not something that I need right now. I mean, I'm, I'm super excited to be playing with these a little bit more slightly colorful neutral palettes with a formula that I know and love, but I don't hate this. And I like that the burgundy theme that they're having for the celebration is going throughout the entire collection. I think it looks super cute. We also got a sneak peek from Beyonce. Beyonce is coming out with a hair care line, which I think is super cool. I mean, every celebrity is launching something. I don't blame her for jumping on, but I am excited that she's doing hair care because I feel Beyonce is known for her amazing hairdos. She has like, she's had every hairstyle under the sun and she always looks great in all of it. And I'm excited to see what this is. I'm excited to see what this is. I mean, she is sitting with hot tools in the sneak peek and I'm like, are you releasing hot tools too? Because I can be convinced. Oh, this is something that I bought. Okay, I did end up buying this. We did talk about this, was that last week? I think so. And this is the Love Gasm Summer Collection by Charlotte Tilbury. And she is coming out with a special edition Love Gasm palette. Some people were saying that this was the same palette as before. I've seen some sources say that it's the same palette that's re-promoted. I have some heard some people say that it's actually new shades, but the same formulas, but Honestly, I don't know. I don't own any of the old palettes. So I did pick up this palette and she's releasing a dual lip shades in Pink Gassum and Pink Gassum Sunset. And these seem to be like really like jelly glosses. This one I just picked up because there was a bundle and I did pick up the limited edition Beauty Lights Wand Pink Gassum Sunset, which finally looks to be that darker wearable red shimmer highlighter blush combo that I've been looking for. 
what I thought the Tarte blush was going to be, but it actually wasn't. So I will definitely be trying this out. I am dying to see how this one looks. I like the cheek products from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. That is the favorite thing that the brand does, according to me. Her cheek products are so beautiful. I Really, if I could pick one thing from Charlotte Tilbury, or if people told me, oh, you can only wear cheek products from one brand, I'd be like, I think I'm going to go with Charlotte Tilbury because I really think that that's what she's excelling with. I know she's selling lipsticks. Just I've heard like some crazy rumors that she's selling this many lipsticks every minute, blah, blah, blah. But I think that where she's excelling is the cheek products. And she's coming up with a collection that has two different cheek products. Ugh, sign me up. So I did pick that up and I'm excited to be trying it out. I will, of course, let you know how I feel about it. These are available now, but I don't think that as I'm filming this, you cannot find it on the site. You have to find this special link to be able to see the collection. I will leave that link down below in case you want to see how they look a little bit more close up. I got a million tags in this because we did talk about the fact that Dior is coming up with two new blush shades in the backstage rosy glow blush, you know, the thing that the blushes that people have been loving, the blushes that have a little bit of a stain to them. And that's the secret to their lasting power. But they're actually not coming up with two new shades. They're coming up with four new shades. So there are four new shades coming out, but people were tagging me because they're like, look, there's a yellowy orange in here. But I, the, from what I can see, it's only the packaging that's yellowy orange. I don't see a yellowy orange blush anywhere in this picture. And this is the theme with these blushes. Like the corally blush that's a very soft corally peach on the inside. It is almost like a bright, almost orange on the outside. So the outside packaging of the blush looks like the blush. But then when you open the packaging, you see that no, it's actually just a photo of the blush but like just mega saturated that's on the front so what you see on the front is not what you get inside and i cannot see an orange here can you can you see an orange here because on the inside it looks like a bright peach a light peach a pink a somewhat lavender and two nudes um maybe i will feel differently if i see them in real life maybe the photo is not doing it like justice but i will say just from having seen these blushes in real life, the two that are existing now, the front of the packaging looks nothing like the blush. And I'm guessing it's the same thing going on here as well. I might still end up picking one up because, I mean, this is a blush formula that a lot of people love, but they have been in colors that are not my type of colors. So who knows? Who knows? I mean, they're $40 each for a blush, which is a lot for a blush if it's not the perfect color and like I, I just talked about Charlotte Tilbury and that I'm willing to pay those prices but I'm willing to pay those prices because I know I love it but maybe this is my chance to try it and see if I love it at least these colors are more up my alley than the other ones we'll see I'm, I'm keeping an open mind because it's not like I'm like, oh, I would never pay $40 for a blush. I definitely would and I definitely have and I definitely will in the future. It's more the, will I pay $40 for a blush that's not in the color that I want? That's what we're asking ourselves. This is coming in June, by the way, so it's around the corner. Tarte is also coming out with some juicy lip plump glosses. And I'm wondering with these uh, glosses, if they're gonna be plumping the same way as their stick lipsticks are plumping, because they say they're plumping, but they are cooling, like a more minty thing. I love a minty thing. Give me a mint lip gloss lipstick any day of the week. So if these are minty, I can do it. If they are burning, absolutely not. Absolutely not get out of my sight, don't want that. So this is a conditioning formula that is as nourishing as a lip treatment with ingredients like yadri yadri yadri, so many different things. Um, the gloss also contains lactic acid and exfoliants to help reduce the look of rough skin and smoother looking lips in minutes. What is the plumping thing? asking for a friend. NARS is coming out with under eye brighteners and when I saw this I was like wait they don't have that? It feels like one of those things that like more high-end brands have. Like Charlotte Tilbury has one, Becca had one, uh, even Urban Decay has one, I know that Natasha Denona has one. I feel like under eye brighteners or like under eye 
like the the correctors i feel like that's one of those things that brands just have <laughs> And I was surprised to see that they're coming out with it now. These are $34 each. It comes in five shades and it is illuminating the under eye area but targeting dark circles, blah, 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 blah. Um, hyaluronic acid. Oh, I'm sorry. Hyaluronic filling spheres. That's real fancy. Maybe a little bit too fancy for me. This one is launching also in the beginning of June. I mean, it looks cute, but I use correctors seldom and maybe i should because i'm actually having some dark circles right now and maybe i should be using them a little bit more often but it's just an extra step that i usually don't go for and i don't mind having a little bit of dark circles actually i feel like it makes my skin look more like me i mean does that even make sense like i'm always tired it looks more like me not like that but like it makes it look more like skin. It makes it all look believable. If I'm totally erased in my under eyes, I feel like sometimes it's too makeup-y, which is not always what I go for because like, I'm gonna be wearing this the entire day. I'm gonna be walking out in this one. This is what I'm gonna be wearing. And I just want my makeup to look like a human being still. Does this make sense? Let me know if you're interested in this. I was surprised to see this, not because I'm like, who wants that? More like, oh, I thought you already had that. There we go. Urban Decay is coming out with a dewy liquid blush. And this is from the Hydromaniac series. That foundation, so many people are saying that that foundation is their absolute favorite. And every time I see it in store, I hold it and I think so many people love this foundation. Surely I will too. And then I remember that all of the people that I hear talking about that foundation and how much they love it have dry skin dry as the Sahara and I'm like that's not my journey I never have dry skin I never have dry patches I am more a combo oily t-zone kind of a gal and I think that this would just be a slippery mess on me and I feel the same when they say dewy liquid blush I'm thinking those serum blushes from Colourpop that I just think is like a lip gloss sticky you know remember those lancome juicy tubes i feel like the serum blushes from colourpop is that they're sticky they're just they sheer they don't look like anything but a sticky gloss on your cheek they don't dry down and i'm thinking is that what this is gonna be a dewy liquid blush a dewy liquid blush it just sounds like a nightmare to me so i don't know let me know what you think though i think these are available no, May 28th. Oh, I thought they were already available. My mistake. They're coming to Ulta on May 28th. I will leave a link down below. They're going to be $22 each, which I feel is a normal Urban Decay price. I like the shade range, but I don't think so. Speaking of Ulta, Ulta Beauty, which is the in-house brand at Ulta, they're doing a collab with The Little Mermaid. Have you seen the movie yet? I want to see it so bad. My husband was like, oh, we can go to the movies this weekend. Maybe we can see the new Guardians of the Galaxy. And I'm like, yeah. Or the little mermaid. <laughs> is it like, is it live yet? I feel like people are going to the premiere, but I'm like, are people seeing it? Are you loving it? Like, I want to hear all about it. <gasps> I'm so excited. I want to see it so bad. I don't think my husband feels the same though, but they're coming up with a collection together. And overall, I think this looks cute. I, this isn't what I'm looking for. This isn't the kind of thing that I will be buying. I don't like when stuff comes in big sets and I can't split them up, especially when it's like a formula that I haven't used. I don't want to have to buy four of a formula that I don't know if I'm going to like or not. I think that the sponges are super cute. The marble sponges, super, super cute. Those I really, really like. The eyeshadow palette, I don't hate it, but it's not for me. But I also don't think it's made for me. Overall, I think this is cute. I think this is a nice mix between makeup and merch. It is at a fairly affordable price level as well. And I don't think it's marketed towards me. Someone who is already owning a lot of makeup and someone who is like more particular with what I pick up. I don't hate it, but it's definitely not for me. I think this one is available now as well. And this one is from Adept Cosmetics. And this is the Seahorse palette. No, my mistake. It is dropping on Friday, May the 26th. Wow, that's a really long time ahead to sneak peek or like to show something that's dropping. That's not very common to show something that far in advance. At least not unless you're like a luxury brand, which let's be honest, 
adept is luxury brands like Dior and Burberry and Guerlain like they will show their autumn collection like their fall collection they will show it in May and they will drop it in July that's or maybe even in August that's more they're going with the the same flow as the luxury designer brands do they will uh, show on like fall fashion week in I don't know February and then they will release in June and then when fall comes they're busy with spring I feel like luxury makeup brands are following the same cycle and I mean Adept Cosmetics is a pretty pricey brand this palette which is a little bit more of a bigger palette but this is all shimmers and it's all those kind of special shimmers from what I gather it's more of a pastel palette but this is 15 shades and it's $140 which again I am not above paying that but now we're getting into that's a lot of money i don't mind paying 129 dollars for a big natasha denona palette or even a pat mcgrath palette if she would come out with a color story that's really speaking to me but i don't do all shimmer palettes and that's the reason why i haven't bought a lot of things from adept i own two palettes from adept and the both of those palettes are a mix between mattes and shimmers which is what i like and i don't want this big of a shimmer palette if it's going to be an all shimmer palette i would prefer something smaller four six eight pans something that's a little companion palette because for me this is too big to be a companion palette in my just humble opinion and also i would never use this on its own and again these are just my personal opinions i know there are so many people out there that love an all shimmer palette like they live thy sneeze for an all shimmer palette not me uh if this was an all matte palette because i actually like the adept mattes but I'm, i think that her customers really want the shimmer but this is just too big and too many shimmers and the cost because they're all special shades just this ends up being a little bit too much so this isn't perfect for me but it's also not meant for someone like me who prefers a matte over a shimmer this is a sneak peek that i am intrigued by last week we talked about the fact that bare minerals are coming up with more shades in the that like glowy blushed bronzer duo kind of a thing and they're actually coming out with a new formula as well and this is the bare minerals gen nude highlighting blush with blooming brush this is a duo right now probably available since it's a duo over at qvc but i'm sure that these highlighters are gonna drop at other retailers soon as well and you're not gonna have to buy it as a bundle i don't like getting a brush bundle because i usually never use the brushes that come in these bundles but the product looks cute so this is a glowy blush and I love a glowy blush. I think this is so cute. I will be picking, like when this one comes available at Sephora or Ulta, I will be picking one of these up for sure. Right now the bundle is $34 and I don't know if that's gonna be the price for the single product later or not, but if you're interested in this bundle, cause I'm sure there's a great savings, I will link it down below cause it is available. I think this looks cute. I'm excited. Jones Road Beauty is launching a tinted face powder and it says that it's powder reinvented. Finely milled ultra lightweight setting powder designed to seamlessly blend into your skin, set your foundation, color correct where needed and minimize shine without looking like you're wearing powder. Um, so this is just a powder to be very skin like but still has a little color to it so it will add a little bit more color i actually like a powder that has a little bit of color to it if i'm gonna use it all over my face because i like that with stuff that usually a little bit more dewy which is usually skin tints and light coverage foundations i don't know why they seem to come with the glow i could be persuaded the light one because i really like the lipstick uh, i didn't like the foundation but I wasn't really expecting to like the foundation if i'm going to be honest because it was marketed towards a dry skin type which i do not have but yeah i could be i could be persuaded i think the light one is probably my shade but yeah what do you think about this one? Ooh, this one is available by the way i know a lot of you were interested so i wanted to let you know that this new liquid blush from nars the afterglow liquid blush is now available it is 32 dollars each it does come in the six shades that we talked about a week or two ago but it is available now i will link it down below because i know a lot of you were super intrigued by this one another thing that is launching soon at sephora this one is up at sephora and you can see it as coming soon the lip swatches look incredible this is from rose ink and this is the 
lip cream long wearing matte liquid lipsticks i'm telling you liquid lipsticks are having a renaissance and i'm not super mad about it i'm actually into a little bit of a matte lip i love a matte bullet lipstick but like i'm not sad to see Lip, liquid lipsticks be on there well it's around three because you remember those old uh, liquid lipsticks that were like the dual component and they dried down and they felt like actual glue and then you put the gloss on top those were horrible and then round two came and they actually made the liquid lipsticks be wearable without the sticky gloss on top and now we're at round three and i'm thinking like have we perfected the formula even more now like are we able to make a matte liquid lipstick formula that's even more comfortable and doesn't crack like i'm so intrigued so i'm i'm excited to see what this one looks like because it says it's hydrating matte and long wearing i could be persuaded and they do have an orangey red and they do have a lot of neutrals and they have some pinks and some berries and i'm excited i'm excited this one says it's coming may 25th slash 26th which usually means that the 25th is either app exclusive or a rouge member exclusive but it's going to be uh, $28 each and you know what I'm not mad about this this looks cute are you into matte liquid lipsticks again because I feel like I could be persuaded there are also some new palettes coming from Hourglass we did talk about that three the the trio palette that um, now is coming out together with two more palettes so Hourglass is actually coming out with three new palettes they are available now and the two that we haven't seen from before is the ambient lighting edit sculpt and set for $85 which is typical Hourglass prices and the ambient lighting edit blush and glow palette also $85 I like Hourglass but I'm not as in love with Hourglass as some people are. I don't know why. There's just some... I think they're good. I think they're nice. They work nice. But they're not my absolute favorite. And I did have one of these palettes that I never reached for. So I'm opting out. I know a lot of people love stuff like this. But for me, it's so easy for me to skip this. Because I've already owned one of their palettes. Realized that I like it but don't love it. And decluttered it. The last thing I need is to buy one again. And the last thing that we're going to be talking about is another really cute release. And this is from Say Beauty. And they are releasing the Glow Sculpt Multi-Use Cream Highlighter Blush. So this is also a highlighter blush, much like the uh, Bare Minerals that one that we talked about. But this one is a cream. And I like the colors and I like the promo pictures. And I like that they were showing these on different skin tones. And honestly, these look super cute i have never tried say beauty i have i tried that concealer and i also agree i didn't like the concealer it creased on me it looked a little crusty on me it wasn't for me but maybe this could be what do you think are you excited about this one have you tried a lot of say beauty is there something from say beauty that you think that i would love let me know i've heard a lot of people like the cream bronzer do you agree? Do you think it's the best one? Tell me all about it. Okay, and that was everything. Let me scooch back. There are so many things this week that I'm like, I, I want to hear your thoughts about it. Like, what do you think about these brands? What do you think about these things? Are they going to be for you or not? I would love to hear about it. And of course, the things that I am the most excited about is the Heather Austin and Unearthly Cosmetics collab because like that's my bestie doing makeup. Of course, I'm excited. And of course, the Odin's Eye palettes because that is one of my absolute favorite brands. Not even one of my favorite indie brands. That is one of my absolute favorite brands. They do stuff that I really like. So of course, I'm interested and excited to see them release more things other than that there are a couple of things that i'm like yeah i'm gonna be probably picking them up like i'm super excited to get the charlotte tilbury the say beauty and the bare minerals they both look super yummy and i'm like oh i could be about that i feel like there's been so many indie releases in may and now i see so many exciting things coming from mainstream brands for the end of may and beginning of june and i'm like are we gonna have like a mainstream june Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Anyways, I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. And don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me all about it. And if you like the video, it really helps if you give the video a thumbs up. And I will see you on Monday. <gasps> on Monday, I have a 38 minute long perfume haul. I put so much work into it. I really hope you're gonna like it. I'm so proud of it. Okay, have a good weekend. Bye.